regardless of where to eat, thanks to a new ranking of the best restaurants in Raleigh and the surrounding suburbs. The CBS 17 goes inside this issue of Raleigh Magazine. A new month means a new issue of Raleigh Magazine. It's always chock full of things to check out and explore in the city of Oaks, but there's so much more. We want to get to publisher Gina Stevens, who gets to join me today. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk food. Let's talk food. So Raleigh Magazine unveils the 25 best restaurants in Raleigh. Um, it's the first time ever, and it includes the restaurant of the year and best new restaurant. And our cover girl is Crawford and Son, which is, of course, restaurant of the year. And then Cuchillo. Um, a modern day um, Italian eatery at North Hills is best new restaurant. But there's lots of other stuff on the list. If you like Puerto Rican food, Bandito at McNeil Point. Um, and there's some classics. There's uh, St. Jock's in that strip shopping center that's sometimes forgotten about, been there for two decades. Um, it's worth a try. Or Second Empire, been on 25 years this year. And I want to reinforce, this is all not like hoity-toity, no. expensive food. This is everything. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, it's full-service dining, so it's not a walk-up-and-order kind of place. But Dos Taquitas is on the list, one of my favorites. Um, there's two oyster spots on the list, St. Rock and uh, Cortez, and they couldn't be more different. Mm -hmm. If you like oysters, try both. I've told everybody. If there's only 25 of them. Two a month, make it your bucket list. Use it. And let's talk burbs. Can't yes. forget those. We did not. So we chose five best restaurants in the burbs. Um, there's a Verde, Katsuji Spot in Cary, Crawford Spot in Clayton, which is comfort food. Who doesn't love that? I've been to. It's really good. Yes. It's really it's good. really good. And then my personal favorite, which is the Provincial, which is on um, Salem Street in Apex. Family-owned business top five meal I've had this year. It's fantastic. And then there's one in Wake Forest and one in Holly Springs, but you got to get the magazine for all the details. You know, there's something I want to talk about as we talk about businesses. There's so many times you hear, hey, coming soon, whatever, no matter the business, and it doesn't always happen. No, it doesn't. And we, we really, we spend a lot of time announcing businesses for them to never open. Um, or two years later, they're still struggling. And so we, we did some research on this and started investigating. We talked to over 20 businesses from large development, multi-acre, to mom and pop business, who said it's all about inspections and permitting. Um, and that, honestly, it's costing them thousands of dollars. The city acknowledges that it, they have an issue and that it's part of it is there's a greater demand and limited resources but the reality is some of these business owners have told me they're thinking about going elsewhere going to carry going to apex going to clayton moving on all right if we want the issue we want to get the issue ten dollars ten issues raleighmag.com or you can pick it up around town always great to see you gina thanks thanks